available by default, but I just thought the context around that's probably exactly. more interesting. The yeah. fact that you know we took out yep. the XP and then there was yep. 650 fiber bushes to level up. And then there's the broader perspective that it's very easy for us to do those things. Yep. So we invested the time and the technology to allow us to just change something like that. Um, and you actually yeah, potentially push the changes for those.
alive? Yes, we're alive. Oh my god. <laughs> we're alive. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my god. Welcome back. Uh Big, big announcements happened over the weekend. A big announcement. <laughs> a real big one, and then we got a what double... What was that, Laurie? What, what, the announcement? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Dean. Um, you tell me. <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> so, um, big announcement. If you're in the channel, you probably already know, but Icarus is launching on August 11th! Woo! Woo! I just high-fived myself. I'm super excited. How are you feeling about it, Dean? Good. Good? <laughs> Full stop. Oh, good, good, that? good. Oh, I found some iron ore. Anyway. No. <laughs> Sorry. Bag announcement smash. Don't make fun of my accent. Come on. It's like Monday morning. Wait, it's sort of not Monday morning now. Oh, it is. Well, it's Monday. Monday-itis. Got the Monday itis. Uh, we've been really, really happy uh, with the reception overall. Uh, with uh, our announcement, you know, we did drop a bit of a bombshell about the oh free to play model. Oh God! <laughs> I think there's a. I think I heard a beer. Sorry. No, no, no. We're okay. You're near me. Oh, see the new stealth indicator. So, yes, we dropped a bit of a bombshell, and the reception has been interesting, but. We're so happy that a lot of you uh, have given us your support, and we thank you very, very much for that. And we're here to answer your questions and create some hype and play the game. Yeah, I'm here to play the game. <laughs> Screw people's questions. <laughs> You've had enough of people's questions. <laughs> no, I just wanted to play the game. <laughs> that's that's totally fair. Or well, I haven't. Where are you? Oh, um, uh, yeah. Um, are you by the I lake? I am at the south end of the lake. Okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm, I'm coming. Cool. I see you. I see you. Huh? Oh, yes. Hello. What's the wave button again? I uh, forget. Numpad plus. Numpad plus. Num oh, it's really numbed. weird. If you do it, if you do it with a, um, with a bow in your hand, <laughs> that's awesome. Because <laughs> the arrow is attached to your hand. <laughs> That's cool. Cool. People on the dev team will be like cringing when I start showing off. Stuff yeah, like wait, that. I want to see it on my camera. It's a game in development. It's going to have little bits. Oh my like god, that. no. On my screen? <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> it's like you're holding uh, the cross of Jesus. There's some demons Christ. that you're about to. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Um, so. I think we should move a little bit before we set up our base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, sounds good. Uh, the reason I picked this drop, people will be able to see the mission timer is 21 days. So just I thought to dispel this notion that, you know, drops are always short, um, we wanted to pick one that's a little bit longer. So as we're going, Laurie, I guess try and maybe grab a spear or a, um, a bow or something like that. Yep. I'm usually the, the spear girl. Gonna throw some uh, spears at some bears. Someone friendly fire in Icarus. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, did you hear that? Was that a bear? Or I didn't hear it. I heard a. I heard a bleat. Um, one, I guess, the big new things as well is obviously you know we've been expanding the tech tree more and more, um, but also uh, a talent tree is starting to really appear. So you can see the sheer amount of. Um, <laughs> talents we're already putting in now um you know really? and many of these are like really um some really cool stuff um, it's hard because we don't have the graphics in yet but basically look, look at that like chance to instantly chop up a tree you know chance to mine a box on one hit so you know there's some really awesome like um high high end um oh, nice. sort of talents and stuff like that that people will get um so that's yeah a that big sounds great Oh, I should probably keep playing the game. <laughs> yeah. Hi, uh, Splitzy. What's going on? Hello. Welcome, everyone. Cool. Oh, yeah, uh, I've lost alrighty. you. Yeah, no, I'm, I got distracted. This this game just distracts me. It's, it's Both uh, of us and, are and, really like, bad the best thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, every other minute, it's like, where are you? Gone. So, oh, gosh, yeah. No, That's what a long I was doing. Um, yep. 
spear. What settings are we playing on? Um, I think fairly good settings. Oh yeah, this one's set to all epic. Uh, yeah, I think mine's on oh, epic too. To so yeah, we're playing on like the the highest end specs for our PCs. Uh, what GPU do you have in your PC, team? <laughs> um, a black one. I don't know. Actually, no idea. What is it is 3080, it? isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah 3080. 3080. What's mine got? Did Nvidia give us this, or did we buy it? My, I have a brick. <laughs> okay, let's put the 3090 in yours, and then I ripped it out and put it in mine. Got it. <laughs> and Nvidia gave us some GPUs. Thank you, Nvidia. Thank you. Yeah, shout out to Nvidia. Yeah, they'd be good. Shout out to their family. Actually, they're pretty awesome. They um, uh, they take the game build and they actually run their own like special magical tests, and then they're like. Hey y'all, why are you doing this thing? You should do this thing. Um, so they've been pretty cool to work with, actually. Yeah, it's been great to have. Uh, I'm having their trouble support. reading the chat because I dropped my phone. Oh my god! I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna need to come Wait, get but, me. Uh, okay, where I have a spear, I'm ready to uh, attack. You'll see on the map um, where I am. Oh yeah, you're be like directly behind me somewhere. Scorned me. All right. You might want to crouch. Oh, there's a bear. Yep. I can hear it. Yeah, crouch, crouch. It's on the... There's a... There's a uh, wall separating us. I think I'll be okay. I love uh, the introduction of the stealth um, bar. Like the eyeball that goes down. So, yeah, I wonder I where you got that from. Asking <laughs> about the, uh, you know, the change from free to play mm. to pay to play. I think the big thing was we actually realised a while ago that we just weren't happy with how the game was going to go in terms of our free to play model. And oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so um, fucking scared. Excuse me. So you know, we, we kind of reached that point a while ago, but we knew we didn't want to come back out and make the same mistake. So we actually sat down and really thought about how we should you know run the game and 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 make the game you know work in terms of its payment model and, and i guess a, a traditional model is more boring but we just felt it made more sense so the aim was to have the base game at quite a reduced price mm -hmm. to, to sort of make it easier for people to get their friends in but then offer uh you know additional content beyond that for the i suppose super fans of the game because i think a lot of people will get a game like this. They'll play it, they'll have an enjoyable time. Um, <laughs> like in the oh ears. my god! <laughs> okay, continue, sorry. <laughs> I can't even remember what I was saying because I was laughing so much. You should be able to push F, hold F. Yeah, I'm you. just marvelling at, um, at the site. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so um, th this is a good time actually for us to bring up a difficulty because we are sort of making the game I suppose hardcore light which I know sounds a little weird but essentially we want the respawn options to change potentially depending on what kind of session you're playing so you might not have respawn options in all of them but we do want revive op options in them so you were able to come up to me and revive mm -hmm. me yep. that's something we very much want to continue supporting Because I would play, I would only ever play Ark on Hardcore, and, and I very much stand yes. by that as being, in my opinion, the best way to play the game. Did I? Did that just disappear, or did I drop that on the ground? I don't know. I don't know what you're doing, Dean. <laughs> um, okay, we should keep moving, shouldn't we? Can you loot a downed person? No. Oh, uh, you can, actually. Oh, you can? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're wrong, Laurie. I'm wrong on live TV. Yeah. I've never. Okay, so I'm not one You've of those people that loots your dead friends. Okay. You kill baby deers, though. Yeah, I kill baby deers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, baby deer killer. <laughs> um. Oh, some wheat. We can actually bake bread. That can be. Oh, a aim. we can do Let's that. Grab some. Yeah, yeah, grab yeah. some wheat. I'm down to bake some bread. Does take quite a bit, so. But we can pick up some more. There is two of us. So. Oh, has corrugated iron gone in? I leaked it. Yeah, I was just going to bring up your leaks. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, no, that's concrete wall. I was going to say, I saw something about 
farming in well, the Discord. Well, people were accusing me of not leaking stuff, and <laughs> and it was uh, impugning my character. There's a word for you. Go look that one up. And if your character is impugned, I'll impugn you with my spear. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, oh my God! Laurie <laughs> killed me. Did you guys see that? <laughs> We didn't I, make a PvP so game, Laurie. I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> Someone's going to clip that. Someone I thought I was, like, that. far away enough, you know, like, just close enough for it <laughs> to... Sure you did. Sure you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just discovered a bug. When you chuck the oxygen and Oh, it's just... Oh, I think someone told me about that. It's just the icons not showing. It's all right. So I actually forced the team to allow us to play. This is a bleeding edge build. This build was made in the morning. Now, the reason I did that is because these dev streams. Oh, I think you ate something and it scared the crap out of me. Um, oh, there's a deer there. There's a deer there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just made one run away. I need some wood. Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? Um, I can't remember. Was it important? <laughs> no. <laughs> I. I'm like the maybe. best streamer ever. <laughs> I'm like so consistent. <laughs> That's what these dev streams are all about. We just oh, go yeah, with the bleeding flow. Oh yeah, blah blah blah, something boring like that. <laughs> um. Uh, we've lost each other again. I'm nearby. As walls You ran nearby. after the dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I just got it. Did you chop down a tree? Yep. Okay, I meant that chop down tree. There's wolves. Yeah, though. I, I got a spear. Cool. I'll, I'll um, keep it away from you though. So let's keep down, keep heading down here. We'll find a water source and we'll build a house there. All right, sounds good. And we're gonna aim aim us to bake some bread, but I'm a little bit concerned that we're gonna end up with a storm soon. I wouldn't be surprised. So what else is new with this build uh, compared to the last time we streamed two weeks ago? Well, I, I think really the big push has been on the, uh, the key three priorities of the project. The first one being persistence. Mm. So get, being able to get you consistently in and out of a character, in and out of a drop. So obviously this drop will last 21 days. So we need you to be able to get in and out of that. Um, I'm hosting the drop, but you need to be able to reinitialize that drop when I'm not there. All that kind of stuff, that is critically important. That must work consistently before we can start the closed beta. So it's sort of a very, 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 very important uh, part of the game now. Um, that you know, So that's been our, our key focus. I think this is a blocked off cave. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that's a blocked off cave. Um, and... Uh, <laughs> Then don't, don't go to my camera. <laughs> our second one is uh, performance. So really just improving the performance of the game um, dramatically. And then last uh, but not least is bandwidth, which has really been pretty much um, certainly solved at this point. Uh, but we still need to keep an eye on it. So those three things are the key priorities that we have heading into the closed beta. Many of the other things can get shaken out during it. Uh, balance, so we're doing a lot of work on balance and stuff like that. But those aren't the sort of things that sink us at this early phase. Definitely persistence problems, connection problems, those are things that must work. So they're really a big focus. Lots I'm of heading down life to the updates. lake in um, Juliet 14. Okay. I'll meet you there. Yep, yep, yep. Meet me there. I just got some... Uh Dare meat. Medium rare. Wow, well, there's a lot of deer around here. Ah. Oh, it's like a breeding ground. Oh, there's a bear. Where am I? Oh, gosh. I can go around it. I'm surprised he hasn't seen the deer. He is facing the other way, though. Yeah, my my spear's about to break. Let me make a. You can repair on it if you right click on it. 
Oh, really? So, yeah, we're, we're iterating on how repair works, but at the moment oh, it's kind wow. of basically free at the bench you crafted at, and obviously you're the, you're the bench for that. Yep. Oh, that's, that's wicked. That was very Gosh. convenient. What's the chat saying? Oh, hi, Sean. Otter noises, how are you? How's it going, Boland? A bunch of people I know are in here. Go poke the bear. Never poke the bear. Huh. <laughs> yeah, don't poke polar bears. Don't no. go chasing waterfalls. Oh, oh my gosh, polar bears are scary. Don't Understatement. Go waterfalls. Listen to the rivers and the lakes. Can you sing, Laurie? Uh, I cannot. I. People will I'm, leave the stream. Maybe. <laughs> People will leave the stream. <laughs> Have you got a number? We should do it. Do it. Do it. I could maybe do some Cat Stevens or some Brian Adams. You know, something I can get a real husky going. I was born in the nineties, so. <laughs> so weird flex. Well, I'm trying to say I. <laughs> it ain't a flex. I guess it kind of is. Yeah. But <laughs> Eighty-one. Yeah. All right. I'm. A uh, shave away from Juliet 14. Got it. Yeah, I'm up there now. I'm in Juliet 14. I'm just 14. trying to decide where we build the house. Do you want to build it up on this rocky outcrop? <laughs> I feel like that could be cute. <laughs> yep, let's do let's do that. Um, wait, where are you? Rocky outcrop. Is that what you just said? Yeah. When you when I place down a structure, you'll see it. Oh yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So we've actually trialed removing um, the uh, pre-built fa foundations in favour of having you um, build the foundations like yourself, uh, which mm. we think is a lot cooler. And. I was going to say I agree, but that was sort of implied in what I said. <laughs> so. So how are you feeling, Dean, about people actually being able to buy Icarus now? Good. Yeah? I'm not feeling good about the sound of a beer having a massive fight with something. Oh, I can hear that in the distance. Oh, and I'm clipping through some stuff. I'm... I don't know where you are. Uh, I am at oh, the... Oh, the bear. Oh, my God. There it is. I'm at the Don't rock. run after me. Is it coming for me? <gasps> How did it... No! It... No! <laughs> I didn't do you know, anything. This isn't, I phas stood... this isn't phasmophobia. The bear can't hear you. Fuck! All I'm Give us a song. He's, he's standing on my grave. This I can't is see, horrible. Oh, I can see you dead. Okay, I'll come over to you. This bear came at me from a distance. Like, I'm not even joking. You were like, come at me, bro. <laughs> and, and it did. Yeah, we, we, we might need to work on how he climbs the, um, the did, cliff face. Did you get, um, <laughs> did you get, uh, any hits in? No. <laughs> I didn't. You're gonna come revive me, right? Yeah. Are you at the top? Right. I'm on the cliff face, so I'm like on the slope. Got it. I'm in. I see you. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. If you can get to me, you'll probably have to go from the top uh, to the bottom, maybe. That killed me real quick. Are we on easy? Rest this is a bad peace. idea. This is like a Daisy PTSD. <laughs> this is a really bad idea. <laughs> oh, there you are! No! <laughs> okay. Choke. You have to try again. No, no you have to. No, what no. I do is I build. Don't leave me. <laughs> I build. So we're going. We're going full Fortnite with this. I've watched the kids play Fortnite. So silly. <laughs> cool, I placed that and I am further down now than I was before. There we go. Oh, watch out for the bear. I heard him nearby. Uh, I can't see your body. 
This is. Well, you can't see me. I'm like right. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, what happens when you play on the the fresh. Bit. No, I think this one's actually in, in the whole thing. I, I think unfortunately you've died on the. No. The You're gonna have to I'm respawn. Gone. You're gonna have to respawn. Oh, all right then. Thanks for trying. <laughs> oh, I like how I'm someone's so typing. I'm so excited for the game at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you too can die on a, a rock. But then, see, then we come here and it's beautiful. So, yep, I'm gonna come back stronger than ever. So this is what you respawn in. Um, yeah, little cozy pod, and this is the outside camera because space pods have cameras on the outside. <gasps> oh, I'm in the desert. Oh, how far away am I? Oh, I'm not, I'm not too far. You're not too far. Yeah, you should be able to run. All right, am I going in the right direction? Where am I facing? All right, need to go this way. Um, okay. Am I going to survive this, though? You guys haven't really seen the sand, uh, the desert biome. Oh. So I need to collect a few... Things so I can defend myself just in case. Someone asked a question about the whole uh, beam thing, Dean, various foundations and just walls and whatnot. Do you want to talk about that while you play some things? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, there's beams. <laughs> there's beams and, and be beams. You place them. <laughs> there's no beams, so but there's beams. If you played Valheim, you kind of get where it's coming from. Actually, there's a really interesting game on PC, a really interesting article. I think it was on PC Gamer about this uh, going medieval, which I think is top seller at the moment on Steam. And it's basically a sort of 3D oh, version no, no, of no, RimWorld. No, no. And um, they were like, I, they were like, oh, I thought it was a bad game. And then, um, oh, no, uh, where, where they thought I it was going? a bad game. And then it has like beams and allows you to go up a level, which just totally changed everything. Uh, switch to me. If you want to see an elephant and a cougar, I'm probably going to die. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Get a first peek at the desert biome while I run back. Attack it. Attack the cougar. <laughs> no. Oh. There we go. Look how proud it looks. All right. Back to you, Dean. <laughs> back to you, Dean. <laughs> that was very newscaster. <laughs> that was the intention. <laughs> I have many leather-bound books. Where will I land now? Tune in. I don't know. I don't I know why, don't know why I get... Um, I think it's because it's loading in the terrain under Laurie that I get... Um... Okay. So the beams give you basically extra stability. Um... You know, we really leaned into that whole stability uh, mechanic that um, games like um, uh, <laughs> Valheim have. <laughs> um, are you still in J14? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I didn't die. I know. I'm so, like in this. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you know? The plan is to just to stay alive, That's right. everyone. I'll do everything, Laurie. Yeah. Okay. So mean today. No. Oh. <laughs> you want to see Stephen playing next? Week? No, I haven't seen Stephen play. I have not seen Stephen play. Stephen's oh, doing work. What a way. loser. He's always working. Always. I think I'm gonna get to you in like ten minutes. <laughs> They've been joking. It's fine. Just forget about me. Who's that? <laughs> oh Ugh. my god, that was a terrible joke. Oh, 
Look how pretty this is. See? Like, it's like the pillars and stuff. It's cute. So we did one quality of life thing, you know, remembering. We talked about it in a stream before, having it remember. We, we have a lot of quality of life stuff that we need yeah. to do. Um, you know, some of that... Oh, damn it. Storm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make medium, it. It's <laughs> a medium rain. I can't remember how much lightning there is with that. Okay. Um, well... I, I'm happy to provide a scenic route. Oh, that was cool. The um, tree fell on its stump and broke the stump. Welcome to the lorry dying simulator. <gasps> I'm hearing things. Lori's losing her mind. I, I, I am. I've lost all sense of direction too. <clears throat> I watched, um, actually, really interesting. I watched a movie on Netflix yesterday called Awake. Oh, Awake. I yeah. watched that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Um, I, I, I liked it. Um, I, I felt it was a little overcooked. Yeah. Yeah, there was a, there was a scene where, uh, the mum was, like, locked in that basement thing. She was just like, my babies. And I was like, okay. <laughs> No spoilers! No spoilers, promise. I mean, I, I liked it, um, but yeah, I, I did feel like maybe it was a little bit overcooked. Oh, I ran into a bear. Are you freaking kidding me? Straight into one. Oh my gosh. No. Can't do this <laughs> No! Am I getting shelter in here? No. <laughs> This is hopeless. <laughs> you need to stealth run past stuff. No, I I didn't even see or hear the bear until it was too late. All right, take um, four. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let's blame Ben. He's he's spawning bears, right? No, we're, we're not on a build where we can um, just randomly... Oh, now I'm in the snow. I'm. This is a joke. This is a joke. Now. Laurie's like, screw this game. <laughs> I've, I've had enough. I, I'm too far away and there's two wolves right in front of me. And this is not a good time. I'm just going to su sacrifice myself. Hello. Yep. Okay. <laughs> See, I'm losing uh, experience each time I die. If you hadn't noticed, chat, that is a thing that happens. Just hug the wolf. That's that's the spirit. This is your most anticipated game. We love to hear it. All right, take five. What are you doing, Dean? I see. I actually have the stream right in front of me, so I can see what you're doing. <laughs> uh, we're going to start taking damage soon from... I, I can't get shelter because I built my thing too big. Oh. <gasps> Where am I? Uh-oh. That's bad. Oh, uh, I think I'm nearby. <gasps> Oh my god, a tree just fell on me. This game hates me today. <laughs> it's alright, calm down, Dean, calm down. You got this. This game hates me today. Okay. I can't tell where I'm going. Wrong way. This way? Okay. <clears throat> I'm close, but we'll see how this pans out. Dear. I need water. No, this isn't good. This isn't looking good. I'm almost. I'm in 
H14. Yeah, you'll be taking heavy, heavy exposure damage from I am. being out in the storm. Yep. Absolutely. So Dean and I were just discussing earlier that we want to have some of the devs come in and uh, play with us and get some real good chats going. It'll be really neat. We figured you guys would really like that. What am I stuck on? There we go. Your excitement is tempered by the fact that the current release day is literally the day before you leave for a 10 day trip. Oh no. <laughs> you got a gaming laptop? Oh, it gives us time. Any, any bugs that appear will... All right. Oof, it's chilly out here. I'm very, uh, I'm drenched. You know that feeling when you get like wet socks inside your shoes? That's how I'm feeling right now. Gross. Yeah. Um, Dylan, we should make sure if you repair the object, it clears the, um, the um, burnt look. <laughs> Just the <I'm>, team. <laughs> I'm hanging out for take six in a minute. <laughs> okay, oh, almost there. Have you got some supplies for me, Dean? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> so we got 120 viewers on Twitch, but 240 on Steam. That's that's the way. All right. Uh, okay, we need a window here so we get some indoor outdoor flow going on i really storm blew down a couple of trees but that's good for me so with my difficulties in dying and and respawning it really does go to show that you just gotta stay alive <laughs> yeah that's don't don't die stay alive and you get penalised with XP, so you know there is a real cost to it. So I just ran into a wolf, so I should be okay. You should definitely, yeah, as you go, pick up stuff to build like a spear and stuff like that. I can. Oh, a raccoon! Hello. Oh, it's so cute. Eat the raccoon, not me. It's going to be night soon. Yeah. Need some bed rolls. Uh, okay. T minus two mins till I get to you. Shoot. I just. Ben doesn't want to show any of my gameplay. It's so boring, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'm... Oh, finally! And then I die right before I get to you. That's Murphy's Law. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Did you just die? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Laurie's losing her shit. Laurie's like, screw this game. <laughs> what happened? I just... Everybody's laughing in chat. I don't know what's going on. I just said <gasps> I jinxed myself. Oh that's, my God. that's what happened. Oh, my God. There's a bear. That's the bear that killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was so close. <laughs> He's stuck. Oh, my God. Take that, no. bear. Yeah. This is the Dean stream. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> He's rolling. He looks so cute. He looked adorable when he was rolling down. You avenged me. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Where am I? <sighs> <laughs> do, do 
do I even do I even bother like you could just stop boning a little hot <laughs> yeah well I'm in the snows so. <laughs> how far oh, is man, that was close oh no it wasn't that close oh, just I'm like okay it was. maybe if I like we'll, we'll see how we go this way I'm gonna take it easy Enjoy my miso soup. Oh. <sighs> so it's night now. Um, if we can, uh, if you find a cave, you can go in there and we can sleep. Just skip the, skip the daytime. There's no trees in the snow. <laughs> you can't make a bed roll. True. It's ho I'm hopeless. Cause I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. At least I'm not stuck under a rock. <laughs> Why is it always oh, me? Oh, it's it's shooting the house. Take that! Don't you destroy? <laughs> I just built that. Go away. <laughs> he like damaged my house. I'm gonna steal your skin and eat your insides. Should we should have entrails. So you can, I, I like that was cool. Oh dear. Oh, my thing's broke. need to fire up. <laughs> I'm I'm finally at some trees. <sighs> what is that? Take seven. Yeah, yeah, we're on seven now. You're so good at this game, right? <laughs> I'm so good. <laughs> Alright. Time to make a spear. And freeze to death. <laughs> It's a huge voxel. <laughs> I can tell you're furious because you're the table's shaking. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. Is the table shaking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're <a typing. laughs> Calm down, Lori. Okay. I didn't even it's fine. Did... <laughs> I'm. I what can I say? I'm passionate. I'm really wait. Yeah, you're probably not gonna see me. To the end. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm. I decided. I'm giving up on going to Dean, and I'm just gonna make my own little place. More importantly, what are you going to name it? The Dean. The Dean. Oh, I like that. Yep. All right. Let's see. I need rocks. Okay. Some rocks. The den. Can we go? What's your place called? Did you name it? It's called... You're just making it up now. <laughs> no lorries allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No, you're no. allowed. No. You just can't get there because you're not good. <laughs> hey, so I saw a signpost uh, and a screenshot. Yeah, no, you can do that. You can do signposts. I don't like the font that we're using. We're using, like, a default font. So yeah. If we can program as me. <laughs> or at least it's not Comic Sans. Yeah. <laughs> okay, can I make this now? Yes. But, you know, like, I do see the game progressing like we are now. I do see sometimes, you know, two groups of friends, you know, maybe wanting to approach 
play in the same prospect but approach it in different ways. Like, yeah. There's just so many different ways that you can play a game like this. So I definitely see that as being a... Absolutely. Like, I'm sure I'm not with you right now, but I can still do my own thing and have a good time. I don't need anyone to carry me. <laughs> I don't need protection. Sure. <laughs> nah. I'm fine. <laughs> I love the feeling when you get your, uh, like, hut all sorted, though. It's really good. Everything's fine. What is the time? It's only 10.30. Oh. Got a long night ahead of us till I make a bed roll. Oh, I guess I can make a bed roll, so. If I want to sleep through so it. You can see down on the bottom left, I'm sheltered. If I walk outside, um, it'll flick over to unsheltered. See? Unsheltered. So, the, the shelter mechanics are kind of really important in the game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, there's a baby deer. Where's your mama deer? Oh. Um, okay, so now I've built, and I've built a little bit bigger than I normally do, but, you know, this drop mm. is going to last for a while, so I, I really wanted to invest just a little bit more time than I have been in the past. Yep, we'll uh, pick up where we left off for the next stream. Assuming that works. You know, it's key development focus being able to support this, so we'll find out. But that's really what these dev streams are about. You know, it's about showing people where the game's at, um, and what I think people see as they tune into these. You know, that we see these problems come up, and then we, you know, confront them and deal with them. And that's really, I think, a sign of something you want to see in a game that you're following. It's not that there's no bugs, because there's bugs in every game and development, even ones when they come out. It's about the ability of the dev team to actually tackle those bugs. Um, and that's really what we've spent the last couple of years working on, building a game that we can quickly iterate, um, release updates very quickly, uh, and stuff like that. Work with the community, balance, test and adjust. Certainly I think we've built a really good platform. There's a bunch of work that's still needed, obviously, and that, that's the idea, is to show people that. Uh, but the cool thing is you'll be able to see the progress as we go through those. You can already see, I think, the progress between the last lots of streams. Yeah, I can I can feel it too. Every time I jump in, I'm like, oh, okay. Every time you respawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, every time I respawn and approach an animal, it, it just moves so nicely when it comes towards me. I do really, I hope people, hopefully people see, I really do like the progression we have in terms of, um, yeah, just kind of the game, you know, I just get that zen kind of vibe from advancing in the game, which is exactly what I wanted out of a um, survival game. I do too. I played by myself um, last week for a few hours and... I thoroughly enjoyed it. I, I had to go home, so <laughs> I had to stop playing. But it was it was really nice to just like create my own goals. I got to the crafting chair I wanted to get to, and I I just did what I wanted. And then next time Ooh, I play by myself, I can do something completely different. I should probably unlock some talents here. Decrease wood weight. The little stuff. I'll tell you what. I wanted to make a brazier. That was my goal. <laughs> and the the last time I played by myself, I was like, I'm going to make a brazier. I don't know. I've never made one before. And I did. Hello, is my camera okay? I made the brazier and then I stood too close to it and then I ended up taking heat damage and that was like totally left of field. And then I had to jump in the and swim to cool off. It was uh, crazy, actually. Okay, I'm just fluffing around here. Little does Laurie know Killjoy is actually counting, controlling a bear and hunting her down. No. 
I mean, he, he might beat me to work most days, but no, he's, he's, he's not like that. Dean, I'm lost. I'm lost without you. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I just spent some time picking some talents. Can't wait till we get graphics on those, though. It's going to really add to the, the general vibe. You know, I think we we've really nailed it with the the sounds, like the small little sounds for everything. Oh, yeah. Like Andy and, oh, and the audio team have done an amazing job. Incredible! It's so satisfying. Seriously, What's that? tickles my ear. Like even just pressing the crafting button and the noise that it makes when you craft something is like. Yeah, it's really just. They're very, um, you know, set very high goals for themselves and achieve them. Yeah. And I think we just, that, that was something we really wanted to focus on. You know, we are, we've still got a lot of areas that we need to grow and change and develop, but uh, yeah, there's a lot that's really good as well. Oh, did I only make three? Whoops. I'll make another one. Made, oh, I'm pushing the wrong buttons. So you can see we've started to balance the amount of experience you get, and that's really changed the pace of the game completely, which is what we want. Um, oh and probably even slow it down just a touch more as well. It's challenging to find that balance between them, but um, yeah. Okay, I'm making a little house. I'm I'm doing. <laughs> what are you building out of? Um, just wood. <laughs> You know, I do like building an initial one out of thatch. Um, obviously, oh, they, they right. get wrecked very quick uh, with the... Um... I'm making a little uh, mountainside cabin. I'm, like, tuck, nestled into, like, a little nook. And then I plan to sleep if you want to sleep so we can get to daytime. Yep. Let me know I'll let, when... Yeah, uh, I'll let you know once I'm it's good. there. All right, six. Yeah, because I need... Oh. I've just got a smell to set up, so I need to find some metal. So I can get me some metal tools. I think. That's why I, I like building next to a cliff, because you do tend to get a lot of... Uh, metal resources that you can grab. Mm, yeah, yeah. And we have a bunch of new uh, tiers... Um, they may actually be in the tech tree. I think they might be new tiers of metal tools. Uh, oh, you know, so it's very easy for us seen. to start adding new content, which is very exciting, actually. What's an uh, epoxy? It's like a glue. Ah, right, right, okay. You'll need to build a mortar and pestle. Pistol? Pistol. Pistol. I think the T is silent. <laughs> okay, we have increased the falling damage. So eating different kinds of foods gives you a lot more stamina. So people on my stream will say, oh, I just lost my um, my bonus um, there, unfortunately. So let's smelt. It's so homely. There's my bed. Let's just have a look in here. Um, I... <laughs> I trapped myself in my in my home. <laughs> you can push Y to, to pull down the thing. Oh, thank God. Whoa. Oh, the trophy bench is in. That's right. cool. You have to get a head off the animal. I can't remember how you... T oh, gosh, what's going on? Okay, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. Oh, come back. What door? Are you going to... Why not? Oh. <gasps> Why can't I make you? The amount of times I've gotten killed going down to get, um... Oh, and I'm cold. It's cold at night. It I is really cold. love our temperature system. I do too, actually. It really adds, like, a serious element that it you really need to... It really does. And, yeah. and it's, it's sort of nuanced. It makes you feel so much more connected to the environment. Uh, it was a journalist I was talking with who was... No, it wasn't a journalist. It was a consultant uh, that we've had helping us out. Um, had really described very well when he was playing the game with the sun. Um, that really does make you feel 
really connected to the environment, which is, I mm-hmm. think, it was very cool to hear that. There was some harsh criticism that come in, which, you know, I'm sure we'll see from the community when we start the closed beta, but that's, you know, there was some really good points as well, and I think one of those was that, that you know, you do mm. feel really connected to the environment mm. in the game. I definitely feel it. Well... I we'll have, have to, a little pickaxe now. Well, I might have to wrap up shortly. What? It's two o'clock. <laughs> Dean's little. What? <laughs> I need food. I need food. I need food. I'm sure I cooked some. I need. I need coffee. I'm in the game. Ah. Oh. I mean, coffee beans. <laughs> So we actually have a food <laughs> preserver coming into the game, and I believe you fill it with uh, ice. Oh, my God, I'm so scared. So you can go to the ice biome, to the edge of it, get a little bit of ice and come back. Um, and mm-hmm. I just think those little things to sort of spike people to explore is really cool. Yep, I got some ice in my inventory at the moment. Because, you know, it's about, it's about making the different biomes all kind of... Like making them matter to an extent. We are making uh, something that allows you to break down uh, tools that you don't want to, so. Oh, that crunch when you like destroy a wall. There's probably not much point in us sleeping, I just realized. No. <laughs> No, not at all. Oh, well, it's cool because people get to see a full uh, revolution of night and day. I'm, I'm in bed. But it has to be covered, right? Does it? Yeah. yeah. It does. That was, you know, something we originally wanted to do, but we felt that people wouldn't handle. And then. Um, oh, no. Yeah. Valheim taught us otherwise. So I'm gonna die again because I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm, I'm not by any water. Eat some berries. They give you a little bit of hydration. A little bit. Okay. Yep. Just eat like a big stack of them. Big old stack of berries. Honestly, berries in real life are really good for you. Full of fiber. Not Keep the poisonous ones though. What are the poisonous ones? What do they look like? In the game. No, in real life. You know, that there's like some berries that you're I not meant to eat. I don't think they sell poisonous berries at the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> well, just in case you want to go out on a real survival expedition. I don't know what <laughs> supermarket you're going to, Laurie, okay? But they shouldn't be selling poisonous berries, all right? <laughs> all right, I think I picked up some berries. There we go. Okay, n- not enough. And I really like that feeling of like when you do settle in a spot, it starts to feel like home. It does. It really does. Like the world builders have done a really great job, and you know we've been um, working on the second terrain, and it's it's looking fantastic as well. It's called Sticks, um, and just you know starting to apply a lot of the lessons that we learned making this game uh, to that game as well. Sorry, not game. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's a Monday, people, right? In New Zealand. Give me a break. Mm. All oh, right, we well, we go. I'm just going to... I'm just going to jump off this cliff. Well, <laughs> stuck. <laughs> really dark. It was really depressing, sorry. <laughs> I don't have much choice. Uh... So, cool technical little factoid. As we make changes to this central data structure of the game, which is called the data tables, which is where all the information about the stuff in the game and stuff like that, some of those changes actually get pushed live to um, <laughs> the game. Oh, fuck! Why did I sleep in my bed? Uh. <laughs> oh, did you respawn there? <laughs> yeah, I did. 
That's good, isn't it? I well, it's not what I wanted, but I, I guess that's good. Sorry for the outburst. <laughs> <laughs> Laurie's getting mad, everybody. <laughs> I've died eight times now. That last one was intentional, though, so... <laughs> at, at least I have um, water. The Icarus just got really dark, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Cormac McCarthy novel. <laughs> Am I running the right way? Laurie's no. over there, like, oh. eating, eating babies. <laughs> oh. oh, did the deer... Jelly the, babies. The deer just despawn. Seriously? I was just coming down to get it. Okay, so I gotta run this Super way. Super foggy. Okay, well, you let me know when you're ready to end, cause I'm ready. <laughs> I'm just getting started. You have a meeting apparently. Say again. You have a meeting. I always have a meeting. There's always a meeting, Ben. I tell you this. There's always some <laughs> stupid thing that I have to be in. Dumb Icarus planning meeting. Yeah, planning. Just make the game. How hard is it? <laughs> Apparently it's really hard, Dean. <laughs> yeah, it is actually really hard. <laughs> yeah, um well you know what? We've uh we've had some really great. I mean laughs. I just got metal tools. <laughs> Mom I'm trying to close off here. <laughs> Let me play a bit more. <laughs> ben Oh, there's a we storm coming. We can stop coming. now if we want, because there is a storm coming. Yeah, there is. But yeah. um, hopefully I'll be able to resume it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. That would be nice. You know, I've got, I've got the base all set up here, so. Yeah, so thank you for joining, everybody. Hopefully uh, that gave people a good view into, um, into where we're at. Absolutely. And uh, don't forget to pre-order us on Steam. We're coming out August yeah. 11th. So, Yay! So, you know, I philosophically have something. Uh, I'm actually going to return to the character. So yeah, me too. So that, so that the storm doesn't annihilate things. This one? We'll go over and talk on Dean's camera. Okay. <laughs> so that um, the... Uh, yeah, I have philosophically something against pre-orders. I don't know how you feel, Laurie. But um, mm. I am actually glad that people are pre-ordering the game because it reduces our anxiety a little bit gives us an idea about how many people are actually interested in the game and how interested they are in the game absolutely um it's been really touching to see folks come into the discord saying i, I just pre-ordered the deluxe edition and i just pre-ordered the base game and it's and they can actually refund those yes. pre-orders um up until the launch um and i believe it's completely automated um yep. as well so if people do you know maybe as they're watching the streams or something like that they're like mm, actually the game's not for me um they do have that option as well yeah and that's that's they add some security. You know, you do want some security for pre-order purchases, and they've got that. Um, but no, I feel like I, I'm just super excited for people to get their hands on the game, and we're, like, one big step closer as of the weekend. <laughs> I, I think as well, so I mentioned this on Discord, and I've mentioned it a number of times. Our three key priorities at the moment are uh, persistence, which is being able to reliably get in and out of the drop. So you and me were playing on this drop, and let's say I had to go off to a stupid meeting that I'm being made to do. Yeah. Um, but you wanted to keep playing, even though I'm the drop host. He's <laughs> <laughs> cracking up. Um, hypothetically speaking, of course, um, you could actually resume the drop. Uh, and you would be hosting it and then I could join you. So we're trying to make that process as seamless as possible. Um, but that's, that has been challenging, getting all that working. So when you hear me talk about persistence as our number one priority, that's what persistence is. Additionally to that, so that's priority number one for the dev team at the moment. Priority number two is performance. So you know, each week we've been producing a profile report of the profile. So you know what ha what what the game is doing during an entire frame um, that is being rendered. So the computer does a whole bunch of work. It produces a frame and it sends it to your monitor. So when we talk about a frame, that's what it is. You know, people say sixty frames a second. The, you know 
computer's doing all this work, making a frame and sending it off to your screen so you can see the, the result. So that's number two priority. That's going very well. It's been, and I think honestly, if you look at the streams, you'll see that that's just been improving leaps and leaps of bounce. You know, bounce. Um, and, and really that's a problem that's solved with lots of data. So having a real formalized structure of, okay, each week we're producing this report, we're actually publishing it to Confluence internally. It's very like structured mm -hmm. process. And the third priority is bandwidth, uh, which was an issue for us uh, up until quite recently. Uh, where, you know, that was affecting the stability during the drop. You know, people would cut down a tree, yeah, eight, eight people playing, and we were having some issues. That, that's gone away. Um, uh, but, you know, we still, even though it's sort of crossed off, we, we keep it there just to keep an eye on it each week um, to make sure it doesn't become a problem. Okay, I've got a lot of people saying they really appreciate our transparency and our streams, so thank you very much. Dean, I have a meeting. I better go. Also, Dean explains how explains how computers draw real time <laughs> graphics. <laughs> well, like just you know, casually, <laughs> we, we've had a lot of discussions on this with Discord, but I suspect that a lot of people who maybe are tuning into the stream, ha you know, don't want to wade through thousands of lines and you know heaps of um, you know funny gifts. So I think giving people a summary of where that's at on the stream is an important one. But hopefully, people have seen the you know, the huge amount of progress that we're making because we're kind of at that point in the project where, you know, so we just had that really efficient time. We've cut down the amount of new stuff we're adding to the game. There is some new stuff that's coming in, and you'll see those changes, but we're sort of not doing a lot of wholesale new features that would dramatically affect the stability, the performance, or the bandwidth of the game. Uh, so that gives our, you know, core tech team time to you know some stable footing to stand on to actually you know optimize the game and improve the the stability of the game as well and i think we'll wrap up now <laughs> yeah I, mean, I guess that Dean could talk to about up. All the wonders of Icarus and development Yeah, look, um, people day. can join the Discord. We've been very active in there and on the Steam forums as well. Um, you know, do share uh, your concerns as well because that discussion and repartee, I think, is the is the phrase. Um, with our team as well, uh, there's been numerous times that in, in a very senior meetings, people will bring up something someone said on Discord or something that's been discussed in the Steam forums and say, hey, you know, this is, we think this is an issue. It's something we need to deal with. That's literally how the outposts were born. It was a major change for our project. And so, um, you know, that, and that came from community feedback. So that's going to be a very important part of the game as we move through the last uh, phase we're going through now before we start the closed beta and absolutely most certainly during the closed beta. It's my hope, but it's not 100% confirmed that once we've gone through a few gates in terms of stability and, you know, persistence, we'll actually start opening up the closed beta to the pre-orders. But that's not confirmed. That's just what I want to do. Um, <laughs> well, we're having to a meeting approved. tomorrow, right? Yeah, we can talk about it I might be having a meeting today about that a little bit. But, yeah, that's the hope. Um, I think that would be a good healthy sign. Certainly for those watching, if you see me resuming, well, us resuming a drop and carrying on with the previous character, you will know that the game is getting stable to the point, and that's a good health marker, I think, as people mm -hmm. watch the future streams yeah all righty well thank you so much dean as always it's a pleasure doing these streams with you and uh thank you so much to the chat who you're all, we're all the way up there on the wall <laughs> you feel so far away but thank you so much for joining us it was a lot of fun uh actually no i lie i had so much fun but the dying was uh <laughs> It was fun Maybe. seeing you get a bit frustrated, Laurie. I know. That's how you know, the game's supposed to, it's supposed to be. Because I think people have been worried it's a little bit too casual, but I think you, uh, people can see it. I some... proved that. Yeah, no, it's uh, it was it was a good challenge, and uh, I, I'm still yet to get better at the game, obviously. But, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, join our Discord, uh, go pre-order, wish list, ride a rah, and we'll see you later. Bye.